I'm excited for this one. Do you know what this is? Yes, this is. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Ten shots, ten questions. How how crazy are the questions? Like, is it like what color is a panther, or is it like? <laughs> yeah, it's what? it's it's it, they're just ten questions about what color an animal is. <laughs> Big shot. Oh, are we doing the question first or the uh, shot first? What color is a panther? Uh, no. Black! Yeah. What's the most ridiculous fact you know? <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, 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 I, oh, okay. I have loads of facts, but I'm like trying to pull like a good one that I know is right. Uh, I'm just flashing back to any time anyone has ever gone like, D did you ever, did you, did you know that? And then just saying something, I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, cool. <laughs> I like to do mine in twos. Is it random fact, weirdest fact? Most ridiculous fact you know. The most ridiculous fact I know is that, did you know, from the earth to the moon. Oh, 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 I love this, go. The distance is, I don't know the actual distance, but from the earth to the moon, the distance in plastic bottles is two trillion and five. So if you were to put a plastic bottle on top of a plastic bottle on top of a plastic bottle, two trillion and five times, you'd hit the moon but you'd want to make sure you're facing the right way. It's a fact and it's ridiculous. So I feel I've hit the brief. You won't see women making sushi because they have a higher body temperature than men, or is it the other way around? More blood circulation in their hands. And, that, and therefore when they're making the sushi, their hands actually they cook. They can warm it up. Oh. They cook the meat. Is that good? That is pretty, that is, as, as facts go, it's pretty good. Well, that good, good. Can you verify? I, th I think that's real. But I feel like it's a tradition that definitely stems from like men being like, ah, oh, women are too warm. They got too much weight makeup on. Mm -hmm. They can't make fish. No. Nice. I think there was something in it. So you're right. We'll go with nice. it. What a ridiculous fact. It well, is ridiculous because women are fucking unbelievable at making food. So. And they should be allowed to make sushi as well. There we go. It's time for more whiskey. Oh, we have to hear the question we'll give first. it a sniff. Oh yeah, that's a fireball, is it? Who is the coolest living person and why? That is stunning. Is that fireball? That's definitely fireball. That is cinnamon whiskey if I've ever had it. I'm gonna go with someone who just emanates cool. Stanley Tucci. Yes. What an answer. Right? Wow. Right? I'm I so like, impressed with that answer. I think, like, and that's, there's obviously a lot of cool people, but he's just got that vibe. He's amazing. He's class. He's great in whatever he's acting. Um, cooking. Cooking. Uh, cocktails. Stanley Tucci Negroni. Tell mm -hmm. you. Non-stop. He's just cool. He's so cool. He's a cool, cool guy. I'm going to go like global hero yeah. David Attenborough. Oh, very good. He's doing yeah. incredible things for sustainability. Yes. He's always had the environment in mind. He has traveled the world. He has reached every person. And he's got one of the most, most enjoyable, enjoyable voices, voices to ever listen to. To narrate a documentary. Yeah. When you're watching. And he's cool. He's yeah. very cool. I think when people think of old people, they're like, oh, but he is cool. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely, he'd be a national treasure for Britain and I think the world. And the world. And the world. The global treasure. Ooh. If you could live in a fictional universe from any media, book, movie, game, etc., what would it be? Love an old fictional universe. Oh, that's really hard. I love an old fictional universe. Cranberry juice. Oh. Ooh, I, I actually, if ever I was to have a mixer with Fireball, it would be Crime Juice. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Okay, go on. Universe. Uh, fictional universe. Okay. I grew up uh, reading and watching and playing me Marvel games, me reading me books, your Harry Potters, your Alex Riders, whatever you're having yourself. All, all the different types of fictional universe. When you think about one you'd like to be dropped into, you really do have to weigh up the like, how how regularly do people get viciously and brutally killed in these places? <laughs> it's probably a very safe answer, a very basic answer. Um, the Marvel Universe. I'd say like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because I was going to say Guardians of the Galaxy, which is... Which is in the Marvel which Universe. Is in the Marvel exactly. Universe. See, there you go. Because, right, depending on who you're born, if you've got mutants in there and X-Men and all that kind of crap, you could have superpowers. Mm -hmm. That'd be very cool. Yeah. But even if you don't have superpowers, the like tech in those kind of worlds, you can have an Iron Man suit. You could have like... a fancy bracelet or whatever, give you superpowers. You could do cool shit. They're also just good crack. Yeah. It's very little crack anywhere else. Imagine Ireland in the Marvel yeah. universe. Unbelievable. It'd be great crack. Yeah. I just I just feel like they'd have fun. Maybe Harry Potter. No, I get that. Bit yeah. of crack like. Yeah. You know? You've got your school 
fun times. Yeah. Excluding Voldemort and him being a bit of a, you know, snake. a soggy biscuit. Yeah. Everything else is pretty good. Yeah. In Hogwarts yeah. land. Butter beers. Butter beer. Like all the like Fred and George's shop. Imagine yeah. calling in there. Unreal. Yeah. Like I think I think Harry Potter universe is pretty pretty cool. Little wands can fly about. Mm. I think it'd be a good crack. Yeah. Look at this vaguely oh, pink it liquid. Snaps. Oh, it smells snap. 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 Colin, there's a uh, little lizard, a little cartoon lizard called Snappy. It used Snappy. to be a greeting card. Crazy Frog and all that. Yes. It was around oh, that era. The weird little, like, text this to get a yeah. message in your phone. It's like a ringtone. Yeah. Big in Germany. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway. What's your favorite place in Ireland to visit? This is a question made for you. This is made, made for you. Made for you. And I don't know the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually. Too, too many, many answers. Too many answers, yeah. Woo! Woo! Strawberry schnapps. Yeah. Tastes like strawberry schnapps. Mm. Almost too sweet. My first answer is a place I have been on holidays from when I was a kid, and I've been there many, many, many times. Uh, La Hinch in Clare. Great place. Um, lovely little seaside town, big long beach, great for surfing, very close to the Cliffs of Moher. You can go out there as well, which are also very cool. And the place I would like to go more, but I've only ever been once, is Ben Bulban in County Sligo. Uh, it's a really cool formation. It's got, like, think of a mountain, it's Ayers Rock, but it's green. Yes, basically. It was as if, think of a mountain that was sliced off on the top, but I'd love to do a hike up on the top of it and kind of go up on the flat. It's um, the hardest hike you'll ever do, but yeah. Is it, really, is it really? Well, I did the Grania and Dermot Cave. Okay. So that's like yeah. one, two great answers. Yeah, Shot. there you go. Lahinch, Ben Bulban, bam. Now you. See, she's been a million different places in Ireland. So I feel like trying to narrow it down to one or two is the difficulty here. That is. You might have seen the most of Ireland <laughs> yeah. out of anyone on the channel. Probably Dingle. Yes, yes. So it is yes. like the most southwesterly point. Well, yeah. almost one of the most southwesterly points of Ireland. It's a Gwail top region. Um, so that means people there speak Irish, which is obviously a big thing to me as an Irish speaker. I go to Dingle at least two or three times a year, even like without trying to be there two or three times a year, I just end up there. It just, yeah. I'm, I'm always taken there. It has the best pubs of anywhere. It used country. to have a dolphin. Fungi, yeah, he's since passed. He's passed. He didn't even pass the title on to another dolphin. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That's yeah. where you need to go if you go to Ireland. Yeah, dingle. dingle, yeah. The worst part, the drive. Yes. From Dublin, it's yeah. like five and a half hours. The blood. Oh my oh. goodness, what the fuck? Spicy. Oh, I don't okay, like go that. on, give us a question. Aliens landed on Earth tomorrow and ask you to go to I their thought you were gonna be like, what's your them? earliest childhood memory? <laughs> we're getting aliens? Aliens landed on Earth tomorrow and asked you to go to their home with them. Would you go? Yeah. That has to be Campari. Never done a shot of Campari in my life. I don't like that. Who does shots of Campari? That's I had, psychotic behavior. I had a load of uh, Negronis at Christmas and I got sick after them, so. Are you okay? I would absolutely go with them. Are you messing? What a stupid question. I live my life to go to unseen lands. I'd be down for the adventure. And I think I'd like to tell them about like the human species and how weird we are. And I think we'd have a bit of crack. I think they'd take me to like a disco or something in a crater. Compare is fucking disgusting. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's still in my mouth. I could see it. I was like, he's not listening to my yeah. answer. He's still. So you'd hope they'd be in a crater? There's okay. craters on planets. So here's the thing. I I agree with you to a point. I'd, I'd maybe suss out the aliens right before. Uh, like if they came down and they asked me and they were like, should we come back to our, come back to our planet for the crack? I'd be like, okay. But am I coming back for like, are you gonna eat me? Or are you gonna probe me? Or are you gonna show me cool technology and like elevate my consciousness? But what if they're not telling you? Would you take the risk? I'd see this thing, I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to suss them out. Sean, <laughs> come to our planet. Would you go? You don't know if they're either gonna eat you or they're gonna party with you. You don't know. I'd still go. Yeah, fuck it, I'd probably go. What an adventure. Yeah. That smells like if that you, smells like a spa. That, I was just gonna say it smells like if you've ever been to a, like a real hippy dippy masseuse. Yeah. And you walk in. It smells in like something like, somebody's gonna rub yeah. on me. Floral water. If you had your own late night talk show, who would you pick as your first guest? Oh, okay. 
I know mine. Do you? Mm. Good, because I'm still thinking. That tastes like eucalyptus water. It tastes like someone dropped a load of flowers they found on the ground it into a water It tastes like you've taken your flowers out of your vase. Yeah. And you're so thirsty and you're so dehydrated and it's the only thing in your room when you reach for it and you it, drink it. That's exactly what it is. It's water that's been sitting there there's with eucalyptus. flowers in it. There's eucalyptus in it. That yeah. is Gordon's non-alcoholic gin. Ha! What was the question? Yeah. If you had your own late night talk show, okay, who sorry. Pick is your first okay, guest? You yeah, I'm ready. First, yeah. It's late night, ready! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Stephen Barlett! Who? Stephen Barlett. So he was the founder of Social Chain, which is one of the biggest okay. social media agencies in the UK. Host of The Diary of a CEO, okay. which is one of the biggest podcasts in the charts at the yep. minute. I can tell he's done a lot of self-work and I want to hear about the work. And he's private about his life because he invests so much time into the guests that he has. One of the people I admire the most and I'd love to chat him. There's his face there. There it is there, look. Very handsome. Fair play, Stephen. Would marry, Good 10 man. out of 10. I I think, for me, it was the Oh, sorry, okay. Hey, everyone, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Yes, it's time for another fun night of me, Sean Connolly, asking someone questions. Who's it gonna be? Well, tonight we've got Stephen King. It'll be Stephen King. I think, we had I think two Stephen Stevens. King. Yeah, we got Stephen upon Stephen action. Stephen Squared. So I've gotten very into writing over the past few years and I read his, uh, he has a book on writing and it's kind of half autobiography, half how he approaches like just the craft of writing in general. And it's extremely interesting. And I'd love to have him on to chat about all the stuff he's ever written, but also addiction and all this other shit. Later in his life went through a intentionally traumatic like car accident that almost killed him. And then he went on to write more. So like, he's got a very interesting life story. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be super interesting. Isn't that funny that we both picked people who we kind of in some way aspire to get to Yeah, them? both Stevens as well. It's the only scenario where you can literally ask them anything you want. Mm. And it could be for the benefit of the audience, but like more often than not, it could be for the benefit of yourself. Yeah. What's your favorite Irish slang or colloquialism? Mm, that's a great <laughs> question. Okay, we'll get back to you in just a second. Mmm, I love the water that my fish swim in. Jesus Christ. It tastes like seaweed. That's disgusting. Right, it tastes on. like seaweed. I think one of my favorite Irish slang terms is shite hawk. Shite I don't hawk. know that. Shite hawk is a, 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 it's kind of a term of insult. It can sometimes be endearing. Dad would have called me a shite hawk a few times when I was younger. But it's kind of like, Ara, what are you doing, you fucking shite hawk? You're a bit of an Egypt. But Egypt's a good one as well. Egypt, of course, it's very versatile. I'm from Tip. I'm from down the country. I should have a few off the top of my head, but I don't. So shite hawk is my answer. I, I have heard that, so... I, I've I, never I, heard that. You so have like, genuinely never heard that? No. Okay, mine is well, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. Well has every meaning that you could ever imagine. Bad. And only Irish people will understand in which way this word is being used. Yeah. So when I go, well, what's that mean? That means you have a very juicy bit of gossip that you want to tell. Correct. Me. What if I go, well. That's just saying hi, hello. Just yeah. kind of, how are you getting on? What's the crack? What if I go, well. Okay, you're pissed off at someone and someone's just done something to you and you're about to give me the tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So many memes. Sorry, we didn't rehearse that, by the way. Yeah, it was just no, we genuine. didn't rehearse it. But that's <laughs> what I mean. I, I just realized as you said, I was like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And you can use it as a chat line as well. Well. Like, Are you well? Because you're looking well. Or you could just go, well. Yeah, you could go well as well. The, the, ah, well, well, well. Well. Hunter, Club Orange. <laughs> if your voice was changed for the rest of your life, who would you prefer to sound like? Mickey Mouse. Or Gilbert Gottfried! I thought I was going to be asked about the meaning of life. <laughs> oh, is this your perfect Gilbert Gottfried impression? Do you know Gilbert Gottfried? No. Do you know Iago in um, Aladdin? Him. Okay, I'm voice. going to go for him. Yeah, I'm going Gilbert. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Aladdin! <laughs> Jafar! Hey, I'm walking here! Hey, Aladdin! Hey, Princess! Princess Jasmine! A whole new world! Oh. I'd like to talk like Mickey Mouse. No, you wouldn't. Oh, hi, hi, how you doing, folks? Oh, 
That's oh, you know, imagine trying to get a mortgage while talking like Mickey Mouse. Oh, here are my documents. Oh, uh, as, as you can see through my financial statements, I've been uh, saving every month. And, uh, oh, give me a, give me a mortgage. Oh, what have I done? I can't do Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> every time I try to do Gilbert Gottfried, it just turns into like crazed New Yorker man. R.I.P. Gilbert Gottfried and R.I.P. Uh, the first two voice actors of Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney and the other guy. Sniff. Apple whiskey. Yeah, that's good. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Now, that's one of those questions you were after, wasn't it? One of those. That's one of those. Good. One of those questions. This ain't no Mickey Mouse question. <laughs> this... It's more a Gilbert Gottfried <laughs> question. In this edit, I'm including every moment Colin talks in a Gilbert Gottfried accent because it's perfect. I'm a so, I'm a shot sipper. I'm gonna I'm gonna hazard a guess that, that was apple whiskey because yeah. it, it would be apple schnapps apart from the fact that it's brown. I apologize for not remembering who said this. I can't remember if it was maybe a lecturer or someone I was chatting to in the fucking pub. Anything you ever want to do or anything you ever set your mind to, whether it's like a big giant challenge or a big whatever, if you dedicate like ten or fifteen minutes of a day, or even half an hour to it, you can do it. And I th and and if if Save a project in your head. I'm gonna throw half an hour into this every day for a year or two years or three years. If you look at something you wanna do in terms of years, um, pretty much anything you ever wanna do is possible. Mm -hmm. Anything you do every day that you don't think about, if you just switch that over to something that you actually do think about and have a goal towards, you'll complete it. Mm -hmm. And I think that is it, if that makes sense. Mine has a similar sentiment to yours. Yeah. It's from my mom. Okay. I feel like I wouldn't be where I am without her. Nice. She was my principal in school, which is important to note. And uh, that is what you put in is what you get out. So she... Yes, sorry. Very, yeah, I get very what you mean. Very similar. Very similar, yeah. yeah. She always said to me, what you put in is what you get out. And it's a really realistic thing. She was yeah. like, even like, okay, so the big exam in Ireland is your leave insert. And she was my principal. So that was the big thing that was riding on our relationship together. So sorry, Maybe, being the principal's daughter, like... Yeah, like it was like... Every, pressure. Everybody was like, oh, we're going to look at her results and skill, whatever. Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out. And I have stood by that. So as a result, I'm a really hard worker. Yeah. And I get that work ethic from her. There you go. There you go. That's it. That was a deep answer. That was a deep answer. We got a deep answer on go. that one. There you go. That wasn't Mickey Mouse, you're good with Godfrey. That was better. That there was you better. Go. That was what go. I was See? looking for. See? I wanted to give my mom a shout out. It's water. Oh, it's caramel. It's caramel. Oh, fucking no. hell. That definitely it's is caramel. Okay. caramel. If the world was going to end tomorrow, what's the last thing you'd do? Thank you for your slightly apocalyptic, pessimistic question, but you look all the same. That is caramel. <laughs> or toffee, maybe Ooh. toffee. It's okay, the world is ending tomorrow. Do we know how it's ending? No, it doesn't matter. It's just ending. It's ending. Okay, but I feel like the That's way- It's your last day on it. I feel like the way it's gonna end is important. You know tomorrow somebody's gonna shoot you in the middle of the head and you're Okay, well that's me. The yeah, world is still the going. The world is ending. The world is ending, so the it's like apocalypse. Your world. Okay, world okay. Ending. We'll say asteroid. Okay. Asteroid's we gonna hit the We all know the asteroid's tomorrow. coming. Yeah, everything in the world's gonna be destroyed. Get a big load of everyone I know, run into the central bank building in Dublin City, take it over, throw a big multi-level party and have the crack with everyone until everyone dies the next day. Hangovers don't matter. Tiredness doesn't matter. Mm. You could bring friends and family. So you could be like, you could get everyone to meet each other, everyone you've ever known. Like the main thing would be to just have fun and have the crack because it'll all disappear the next day. That's the first thing that comes to my head anyway. How about you? I would do Christmas day. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I'm at home, I'm with my family. We eat good food. Yes. We see good people. And then we would come home, have Christmas dinner. We open presents after Christmas dinner. Yes. We'd open presents. And then I'd probably go up to Dublin, yeah. see John and his family, and then maybe swim in the sea. Come back. Oh, very good. Have a bit of a sesh, like have trad. That's a long day, but you're you're do you're hitting everything. I'm hitting it you're all. Hitting I hit yeah, my yeah. family. I hit his family. The trad, and then the meteor hits while we're all in the middle of a Kaylee. Also, what if you're on the sea and you just swim really well and just and you're in the big wave and then you're fine? Maybe the two days will probably converge at some point towards yeah. the end. I'd be like at the end. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, right, I'd be like, we'll go to the bank. We'll go to the bank. Uh, or uh, Sean's uh, having the big sesh. I'd be like, hey, 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 hey,
You want to end da, a drum. Da, da, da. Holding hands and arms, singing a big song, and then the wave comes and we all die. Yeah. I think that's Perfect. like I think that's like the most wholesome. That's the best way to go. It's the most wholesome apocalypse scenario I think you could think of. That's what you want. That's if what you, you want. If you knew yeah. that was happening, that's yeah. the way to go. Yeah. Sweet Caroline. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Dead. You have completed ten shots of ten questions. What do you think of that experience? I uh, feel good. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. I would I like to fine. go deeper. We could go deeper. This is this is level one. I would recommend people at home do this with uh, their friends. You know, it's a good. Uh, just get questions. Just get shots. You can get to know people. It's so good. Yeah. You gotta like. You gotta subscribe and comment on the video. Ha ha! And click the notification bell to make sure you get all notifications for new videos. Ha -ha. And the merch. And we do. We get some merch. Ha -ha. So. We release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Ha ha! And uh, good luck. Ha ha! Woohoo! Perfect.